Hello everybody. Boy, I have a lot on my mind today and I just pray that the Lord helps me get it all in perspective so that I don't just come across with a conglomeration of things. But um, may the Lord just guide my, my lips and my thoughts. Um, but I've titled today's um, video, Today's Deception. And where do we begin with that? Um, the, when you talk to remnant, you know who I mean when I say remnant. Um, they, you can see it in their eyes. They, they know exactly the language that you're speaking. Um, they know the deception that's out there. They know the name of it. It's the Antichrist spirit. And they don't look at you as though you're a loony or anything. It's like, you're my brother, you're my sister. Because we speak the language of the word of God. Then, when you speak to those um, that might attend church or are religious, they look at you with those eyes like, oh my word, I can't believe she thinks this. Um, or that's just a little too far-fetched. Um, for me. So I have a lot I want to cover and I just pray that it makes sense. But the day is fast approaching for Jesus to return for his faithful. And guys, we have got to stay faithful in the midst of the deception. And the only way is to be in the word of God, to be walking in his spirit, that we won't believe what we see and hear. Guys, we are being lied to, big time. And yet when you tell that to, to people, it's like, don't, don't say that of, of, about what's going on. You know, that, that's not nice. Guys, you cannot read the word of God and not understand that we are in enemy territory and that God is winding things down. So the timetable is set in the mind of God that we can have be rest assured and the clock is ticking down. We know that things are going to get worse. I've shared in other videos that I do not believe that the United States of America is going to remain the good old United States of America. It is a sad thing. Who wants to see it die? But I am just, you look it up for yourself. Daniel, the interpretation of Nebuchadnezzar's dream of the statue. There cannot be any nation standing, boastful, proud, as a superpower. They're all coming down. And it's not Cindy's opinion. It is what the word of God says because Jesus Christ's kingdom is what will be the only thing remaining. Oh, it's going to be so awesome. When Jesus Christ reigns for that thousand years on this earth during the millennial reign, I've told my children all along, everyone's then going to see how it could have been being done all along. But we got wicked mankind, our wicked flesh hearts. Oh, Lord Jesus, take us away soon. Oh, to reign under him, it will be glorious. Um, okay, keeping um, on what we're thinking here is we are being lied to. I looked at um, this, and please, don't go by what I'm just saying. Look it up for yourself. I don't go by what people tell me. When I hear something, I'm going, okay, I'm going to check it out. So I usually go... Don't even, I don't even click on links. I'm going to be honest. I don't click on links. I go around and investigate it myself because I don't even trust that that link will take me to a true source. So anyway, go to the cdc.gov yourself and don't click on no link. Go to it yourself and look up the total deaths. Now I know that God almighty has them proclaiming the truth for a reason. But see, no, it, and it's to document that no one cares. There are, there are the, a few, a few, you know what I mean, in the remnant, um, care. But the vast majority, they could hear this video of what I'm going to say about the statistics that they can look up and see themselves. And they'll just go right on. Just like what Pastor Lathan and, okay, what he mentioned was how, with the Nazis, 
They said, it's for your peace. It's for your safety. Just get into the box car. It's for your safety and for your well-being. And they got in the box car, off to the concentration camp. Get in the, the go, go, get into the shower. It's for your safety. It's for your security. It's for your well-being, for your health. Go ahead, get in to take a shower, and then the gas, gassed all the the Jews, guys. This is re, we're just all being recon, recon, are being conditioned for it. But Pastor Lathan, it is going to be out this coming Sunday. October 11th at 10 o'clock. It's titled Jesus and Politics, the Biblical Agenda. You don't want to miss it when that comes out. Awesome. Jam-packed information. You'll want to watch that. But it is the truth. We are being conditioned for this. And you can say the CDC says, and, oh, that can't be true. Because we're all having to change our lives like this. So you must be mistaken. You must not have read it right, Cindy. You They don't say it, but you can almost see it. They want to believe the lie. Just today, it, it is for yesterday's CDC statistics. Indiana's total deaths, 3,669. Get a load of this. It says total deaths. Then it says confirmed deaths 3442 i don't know what that means confirmed but yet total i mean you would think the confirmed cuz they'd be dead then it says probable this blows me away probable means likely to be true or real 227 227 deaths in the state of indiana and yet, people are going around in fear. And yes, bless the hearts of the families of those 227. That they would, that the Lord Jesus would become real to them and that their families would be saved. But guys, we're being lied to. The flu. I looked up the flu. In the 2019 and 2020 flu season, They there have been, this is CDC's. 18 million to 26 million cases, okay? We had total cases of COVID, 7,359,852. From, I'm even going to take it the lowest of, of flu, of the last flu season. 18 million versus 7 million of cases, of COVID versus flu. Then, have you ever noticed there, there is a flu season? They document that the last week of April, of April 4th, that was when flu season stopped. I'd like to know where that, where that goes with COVID. But anyway, I'm saying all that. It literally, you do the figuring up. Go to the website yourself, look these up, do the, the, the math, 0.02% of people die of COVID. That's less than the flu. Do I think COVID is real? I believe that it is a thing like the flu. I believe it's real, but I believe that it has been an agenda whether it was made, I don't know. But I believe it's an agenda that they pounced on to be able to set up and use it as a tool. And it's been a masterful tool. It's worked. And people have just filed and been obedient and done what they've told, been told to do. Now, in Obadiah... I was reading yesterday, and I've shared before. I've even posted some things about Obadiah. It's only one chapter. Read it. And have the Holy Spirit revealed to you. But it just seems as though there's a lot in there. You know how prophecy is. It can be layer upon layer. And I see the United States in it. 
Just as I said at the beginning of this, I don't believe that the United States is going to continue. I don't know what will happen, but there will be destruction. It's already crumbling. You know how in Romans 1, read the entire chapter of Romans 1, how God is going to give them what they want. Mankind, you know the scripture about God gives you the desires of your heart? Well, when man don't want God, God's going to honor it. They want to give God the fist. They will have the repercussions of it. Read Romans 1. And see in Obadiah, you see that there is a, it's called like a, a confederacy, a combination of persons it's almost like a, um, a cutting away at the foundation. And so we talk about, is there going to be a civil war? It's already there. It's just not in the way that what we remember the old civil war. But I don't, I believe it's just going to continue to get worse. Now, read all of Obadiah. Because it will explain to you the things that are going to happen. For the, In verse 15, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall, shall return upon thine own head. Verse 17, though, But upon Zion shall be deliverance. That is also, yes, that is Israel, but that God is also speaking to his children. Shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Read the whole thing, everybody. Hebrews 10, 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some in is, but exhorting one another, and so much more as ye see the day approaching. We talked the other day. What is that day? What, what, how do we see that day approaching? We see the deception. We see the, the one world government being, being built. Blatantly talked about. Um, we see the, the European Union being brought together more. We see Israel in 1948. Becoming a nation, which was miraculous. That was, that's like the fig tree generation then. It is so winding down, everybody. The apostasy, the, those thinking that, that once knew the truth have, have exchanged the truth for the false doctrines out there. It is so pitifully sad, but it, we've seen it before our very eyes. The Bible being trampled on literally. People do not want the word of God. They don't want God. Smashing it, burning it, mocking it. They will get their wish. Rebellion of authority, of unrighteousness. Not like what they are trying to do about forsaking the assembling. They're saying for Christians, for the sake of health, for your safety, you can't assemble together. No, our God is bigger than that. We trust him. We obey the word and then see his grace abound into us. We do first what the word of God says. It says, do not forsake the assembling together uh, as ourselves together as the manner of some is. And there are many that are forsaken. And it's almost like they don't care. But exhorting, do you know what exhorting means? It means to warn, to give advice, to urge strongly, to nudge, to prod. Yes, we have got to say, you need to get in church. I tell the kids at the youth center, does a fish want to be outside of water? A true born again believer will want, will, do, will yearn to be with other believers. If you don't care about being with other believers, I have to wonder if you're really in the blood flow of Jesus Christ in the body. I'm serious. Read the word. And it says, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. When we see them saying, don't assemble together 
for your safety. What does the word say? That right there is just like Nazis all over again. We must assemble together because that is a marked evidence of the day approaching of God's wrath. But you remember the blessed hope. It ain't no blessed hope if you got to be beat up and, and go through God Almighty's wrath. It is the blessed hope that we will not have to see the wrath of God upon the bride of Jesus Christ. The blessed hope that we know that in any moment we are going to be rescued out of this evil, sin-infested, God-forsaken world. Not God-forsaking it. Well, as we've read, that's happening too, in a way. But see, they don't want God. They will get their wish. Sad, sad to say. Some of the notes I have here. Are we living like we don't want to leave this world? That's a big red flag to us, everybody. We are seeing the moral decay of our society. We better be trying to be the salt to preserve it. That is the restrainer. And Pastor Lathan talks about that in the, the um, sermon that's coming out this Sunday at 10 o'clock. Jesus and politics, the biblical agenda. He addresses that. We are seeing the day fast approach. We must not forsake the assembling together. No matter what they are saying. We serve the healing God. Do we get sick? There are times that we do. But we trust God in the midst of it. Is this world what we are living for? It better not be. The Bible says that if we are living to, to save this life, we're going to lose it. We have to be living for the eternal, not for this. That can only be comprehended and loved and grasped. By the Holy Spirit living within us because it is contrary to human nature. It is God Almighty within us giving us that hope, giving us that mindset because it's his and it lines up with his word. Oh, everybody, we're being deceived. We're being lied to. Let's not be one that's going to believe the deception or be deceived. Cling to the Holy Spirit. Cling to the Word of God. You watch and see how God is going to lead and protect His children. He is a good God. He wants us to trust Him in the midst of all this. He wants us to trust Him. Just as He has orchestrated and designed the path that the spirit of the Antichrist will take. As I shared yesterday to our church family, the book has already been written. It's already in stone in the Word of God. Nothing's going to be added to it or taken away. It's going to be acted out, jot and tittle, according to God Almighty's plan. Just as that is happening, the spirit of the Antichrist getting more and more prevalent, God has his children on his path, just like he did the precious Israelites exiting Egypt to enter the promised land. He's got his children on that path out of here. Every day we are getting closer and closer. Romans 13, 11 and 12. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. 
Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let's shine bright for our heavenly father. May we bring glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Proclaim the gospel that many would get saved in these last moments. Let's not forsake the assembling. Let us not believe one lie. Let not one lie stand. In Jesus' name. Father, touch and be magnified in the life of everyone that would watch this later. May they feel your presence. May they be healed. May all fear be gone. May Jesus be magnified in our lives, Father, against everything that would want to exalt itself against him. Be blessed and be glorified, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless each and every one of you.